So baptism was a part of that disciple-making process, part of that people coming into new life with Jesus was the expectation they would be baptized. Everything that I did was all about for myself. It's always about me, me, me. But I wasn't happy and I wasn't even contented until my sister, who was a Christian already, didn't give up on me. After a lot of convincing, she asked me to attend church and strangely it's like the, the preacher was preaching or talking to me directly. And then um, in an instant, I felt the Holy Spirit in me. It's like that I was directly talking to God. Um, I know that there will be tough times. I guess um, during those times, um, my faith in God grew even more because I knew that He never left me. I was basically unhappy. Eventually, uh, I found Jesus. Uh, ever since I led Him to my life, uh, it finally filled that hole. You know, I don't feel empty anymore. Uh, praise God that He doesn't walk away when we run. Uh, he cherishes us. His love and affection towards us do not change, no matter the depth of our sin. And this time, uh, it's perfect for me to declare um, my love for Him because we celebrate His death and His resurrection. And just like Him, I also died to myself. So Jesus conquered death, and so I have nothing to fear. Nothing can separate me from His love. Sorry is enough. It's, it's okay now. You've been forgiven. So from that day, I move up and forward and never stop. I want in Jesus. One verse that hit me until now is the Second uh, Corinthians, uh, chapter five, verse seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. I became a rebellious child, but thanks to God, He rebuilt Himself to me. Jesus Christ saved me and rescued me from not knowing Him as my Savior. And I declare you, God, oh Jesus, that you are my God, you are my Savior. Today, if you, if you will hear His voice, do not harden your hearts. So it's like, for me, if I didn't go to this um, baptism right now, I would be um, disobeying Him and, um, you know, like what happened in the, in the people that didn't enter His rest because of disobedience. Then I looked into it and I realized that I hadn't quite been obedient to the Lord by not getting baptized. So that's why I'm here today, is to be obedient. I am a new person, whole and complete in God's grace, and apart from Him, I am but a shell that is empty. This is the declaration of it, the celebration of it, and moving forward with Christ in our new life. <laughs>